welcome to the stock market report. Well, the week starts off in the red. Yeah, bearish sentiment from last week still holding on strong in the market. Look at the all share index down 0.05%, 49,346 points. Looks like we're going to be sitting pretty below the 50K level for a while now. Market cap 26.61. Uh, 5 trillion naira. Let's uh, move on to the activity chart there. We see not much buying pressure today. It's mostly red on that count of volume traded. 122 million units of stocks valued at 1.30 billion naira. But we see deals in the green. More deals than what we had on Friday. 3,915 deals. Let's uh, move on now. Let's see the sectoral performance. Banking sector down 0.69%. Over half a percent there. We saw sellers with stocks from GT Co. Consumer goods up marginally, just 0.07%. We saw Honeywell flower. There's some buying pressure with that stock. Industrial goods uh, up 0.01%. Let's see what who's topping uh, the gainers uh, counter there. Courtville, 48 cover, up 9.09%. Honeywell flower, that pushed up the consumer goods sector there. 2 Naira, 63 cover, up 8.68%. And benefits also in the top gainers list. Let's see who's topping uh, the losers counter there. FT and Cocoa Processors there, 30 cover. Down 9.09%. La Sacro, 95 cover down 8% at this time. WAPIC closed uh, down, 0.732%. Uh, so, looks like the local boss is not immune to the route in the global equities market we're seeing. Inflation for July came out hot, 19.64%, which could trigger more rate hikes. And we know the equities market doesn't like rate hikes. And that's the stock market report. I'm Ladi Williams. It's back to you. Thank you, Ladi. As for other major world markets, let's see the numbers for today.